creative friends welcome to my channel today is Wednesday and you know in my kitchen Wednesday is sourdough day and today we're gonna to be making the sourdough banana bread recipe that I got from the King Arthur Baker's website and I love banana bread I used to make it all the time um, but I haven't made it in a really long time and when I saw this I thought ooh banana bread sounds good and having the sourdough is gonna make it even better I can just I can just tell you um, so what I'm gonna do I've laid all the ingredients out because you know that's the way I operate I'm going to tell you what they are and then I'll get everything set up to put it together. But first thing you need is eight tablespoons of unsalted butter at cool room temperature. And that's just like one of these little half cup sticks. Then you need two thirds of a cup of light brown or dark brown sugar pack. Got that. A teaspoon of King Arthur pure vanilla extract. Got that. If you don't have King Arthur, you can use any vanilla, but they like you to use their product because it's their recipe. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and I've got that in there. And I grind my own nutmeg, I don't buy, buy it um, already ground. So that's why some people say, how come your nutmeg is two different colors? But that's because it's fresh ground. And a teaspoon of baking soda, boom. A teaspoon of baking powder, boom, boom. And a teaspoon of table salt, right here. Then one and three quarter cups of banana. And I have a little less here, but that's okay. I actually um, take bananas when we haven't eaten them and I throw them in the freezer. They look really gross, they turn really dark, and they look really icky, but when they thaw out, they're perfect for banana bread. A quarter of a cup of honey, and you know what I do? I spray the inside of this with a little bit of the spray oil and it slides right out, so that's a good tip. Two large eggs and a half a cup of this awesome sourdough discard, yum. Two cups of King Arthur unbleached all-purpose flour and three-quarter cup of chopped nuts now I do what I do is I buy my the nuts in bulk like at Costco and then I break them down into one cup increments so when I want uh, and I put them in the freezer so when I have something I just go grab one of these I know that's one cup and I can usually eyeball a half or three-quarter cup and just a tip this one says chopped nuts optional so when you're looking at a recipe, I've been asked this a few times, how do you know whether you measure them before you chop them or after you chop them? I just do it whatever I feel like. But really, the rule is, if it says a half a cup of nuts chopped, then you measure the nuts and then chop them. If it says a half a cup of chopped nuts, then you chop them and measure your half a cup. So that's the, that's the kind of the rule on that. So then... This is it. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up and get my bowl out. I've got the oven preheated to 325. I'm going to grease my 9x5 loaf pan, and then I'm going to put all these things together. I will say that I do have a little add-on. When I make banana bread, I put in banana extract, only because I really like that extra banana flavor, so that's why I do it. So now I'm going to go set these up in the order that they go, and I will be right back. And I've got my mixer. I actually rearranged my kitchen so that my mixer can be over here when I videotape things so that it's easier. But what I'm going to do first of all, it tells me to combine the butter, the vanilla, the sugar, the cinnamon, nutmeg, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and I'll beat it until smooth. So let me go ahead. And I have this cool paddle. I'm going to show this to you. Um, I don't know where to get these anymore, but if you can find one that has these little uh, fins on them, this is a silicone thing. It's awesome because when you add things like nuts and chocolate chips, they slide through there and they incorporate nicely. So um, if you're going to ask me about that, I've had it for so long and I don't know where to find them anymore, but I'm still going to use it. It's awesome. But if you can find one, it's so worth it. So I would just look up. There are, there are some, but they're a little bit different than this one. So there's the butter and then the sugar. And I'm going to get this started so that it can kind of uh, start blending together. And then I will add the other things. The vanilla is going to go in, but I am also going to add my banana extract. So let's get this going. Just kind of start incorporating this together. So the vanilla, the spices, baking powder, baking soda, salt. Now I'm going to add my banana extract. This is just me. I'm measuring for you, but for me, I just measure with my heart. There we go. That would be a teaspoon. Actually, a little bit more. Whoop, there we go. 
What the heck? There's hardly any in there left. Huh. So there you go. Now, I'm going to get this mixed nicely. And then once it's nicely mixed, is when we're going to put in the bananas and all the other ingredients. All right, hang on. Let me get this clump of butter out of here so that I can get worked in. Ooh, I smell my banana mix. So good. Okay. I'm excited about this. There we go. Alright, uh, it looks pretty smooth. Got the butter mixed in there. I've got one clump of butter. I'm waiting for it to get worked out. You see? See there? Okay. Alright, now. Alright, that looks pretty smooth. Let me get that butter. This clump of butter that seems to be stuck there. Ah, perfect. There we go. Now, excellent. That looks good. Now I'm going to add the mashed bananas. Whoop, there they are. And the honey. You want, the honey should slide out pretty nicely. It's pretty good. Let me wipe that out. And yes, I wash my hands before I do any baking. But it comes out pretty well if you just spray this with a little bit of the spray oil. Speaking of spray oil, I'm going to show you something else. Okay, there we go. Okay. In preparing my pan, you can put spray oil. But my preference is the pan baking made with flour. It releases really well and it tastes buttery. So I like that. Okay, now we're going to put in the sourdough starter and the egg. And we're going to continue to beat until smooth. Let me get this out of the way. I, want, I don't want this to go all over. So I'm going to turn it off and get this in there. Then I'm going to add the eggs. There's the sourdough starter. That's going to give it a little tang. A little awesome tangy flavor. So good. Okay, now we're going to do the eggs. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to use my little banana thing to crack the eggs in. Just in case. Let me scoot you back so you can see that. There we are. And when this is incorporated really well is when we're going to add the flour and then the nut. And then we're just going to stir that. Okay, there's my two eggs. Okay, now... Let's mix those guys up until smooth. So this doesn't, this isn't hard. It doesn't take a lot of work. And it's going to taste so good. Okay. Want to see? Let's see if you can see in there. See that? Smells good already. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the flour. And we're just going to stir this until smooth. Oop. And the nuts. And I'm going to stir a few extra nuts. Ooh, I think I got... It's sometimes difficult when you're doing it and you're trying to do it. I normally would be facing... Oop, knocked over pokey. I normally would be facing my, my mixer. I'm not. I'm going to throw in a few extra nuts. Oh. There we go. I like it a little extra nutty. There we go. And now we're just going to let that go until it's smooth. And then we're going to put it in the pan. And I also like the sprinkle nuts on top. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. That looks phenomenal. You know, I told you, I'm not a fancy cook. I'm just an everyday cook girl. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to get this off of here so I can clean it off. Let me get this out of the way. I moved it so I could, oh, Pokey's trying to climb up the book there. There we go. Okay. 
And now I like to sprinkle nuts on the top and it's so good. Okay. So that this paddle helped incorporate the nuts evenly and it doesn't just catch and move around on the sides of the bowl. So that's pretty neat. And now I've got my oven preheated to 325 and this is going to go in for 25 minutes. 20 minutes if you're baking in a loaf pan because you could also do this in a 9 by 9 I think. But this is going to be. I like the loaf. I like a banana loaf. Okay. There we go. Get all these off of here. Perfect. Now, I'm going to get a quick run over with my spatula. Excellent. That looks good. See that? Now, let me turn it this. I see, it's hard for me to do it so you can see. But there it goes. Coming out of my bowl. I think the sourdough is going to make it so good. And their website has a whole bunch of recipes. I've actually got a couple more that I want to do. And I'm going to do another one because I took all of my sourdough out of the fridge. Woke them up. Now I've got two batches that I need to do. Because I don't like to throw any of that away. You know. Okay. Alright, that looks good. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to sprinkle nuts on the top. And so it says transfer the batter to a prepared loaf pan, smoothie in the top, and let rest at room temperature for 10 minutes. And then we're going to bake the bread oh, for 45 minutes, then lay a piece of a aluminum foil across the top to prevent it from over browning, and then bake it for an additional 25 minutes, 20 minutes if you're baking in a, in a tea loaf pan. But I'm in a loaf pan. All right. I will let this rest for 10 minutes. And that will give me time to clean up. Because clearly I've got flour on the side of my mixer and other places. Anyway, so I'm going to clean up. I'm going to let this set for 10 minutes. Then this is going to go in for 45 minutes. And then I'll put a little piece of aluminum across the top. And let it go for another 20 minutes. And then I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to show you how delicious this is going to be. 10 minutes has gone by. I'm going to pop this in the oven. And I already went and uh, picked up my piece of aluminum foil to lay across the top when it's time. But for now, I'm going to pop it in here and I'm going to let it go 45 minutes. And then I'll put the aluminum foil on it and let it go 20 more minutes. And I will see you when it's done. The timer went off. Now, I let it cook for the for bake for the 45 minutes. And then I put the aluminum foil on it. And I just let it go for 20 more minutes. And, oh, it smells so good. Now, it tells me, I'm going to check it for done. Oh, look at that banana bread. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to check it to make sure a toothpick poked in it comes out clean. And then, beautiful. Looky, look. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Phenomenal. So now I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to take it out of the pan and let it cool on the rack before we taste it. But oh, if, if smell is anything, this is going to be so darn good. Okay, doesn't that look pretty? What a beautiful loaf. Okay, I'm let that sit 10 minutes and I'll be back. All right, the bread is cool and now what I'm going to do is go ahead. I started slicing it, but then I thought you'd want to see. So I'm going to slice this. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. You know what? I'm going to get some butter because we like butter on our banana bread. And I will call Brian in to do a little taste test. All right, I've got it buttered, and I'll call Brian. Brian? Yo. Oh, he's right here. Look at that. I think he hears me I saying I'm going to. You. you smelled it. All right, I'm going to put this down, and then I want Brian to give it a try. And we'll see how he likes it. He likes banana bread, so he's not a picky guy. Mm. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Super good. You like it? Good, because oh. there's a whole loaf. 
a whole loaf of that banana bread. I'm going to try it too. Yeah, I need to give it a shot. Mmm, so good. And I always put, like I showed you, I always put a little bit of the uh, banana extract in there, and it just bumps up the banana flavor, but it's not like overwhelming. So here you go. I will put the description in the, uh, or the, the link to the recipe in the description box, but look at that. So yummy. So I hope you guys try it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.